Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you my bathing garden haul. Um, as most of you know, if you've ordered from the bathing garden, <clears throat> her turnaround time is usually six weeks. I think that's when she first releases a collection. I think after like the first initial like orders of it, I kind of want to say I think that her turnaround time goes down to four weeks. I'm not totally sure. I think like once it's been on the website for a while, I could totally be wrong, but um, I wanted to say two things. The first thing is I have not ordered from um, the bathing garden in a long time. There's like a black piece of thread. I haven't ordered from the bathing garden in a really long time, at least four years. Um, and... It's because when I ordered from her, I, I, it wasn't a huge order, first of all. Um, and I lived in a different house and I got her clamshells. And it, to me, every single clamshell smelled the same way. Um, so some stuff I had melted like right away, didn't really get a throw. Put stuff away, let it cure, tried it again, didn't really get a good throw. Put it away even longer, still really nothing. So I just kind of figured, I guess the bathing garden is just a vendor that's not for me in my house, for my nose. Um, I did try like her, her, oh my gosh, her scrubs, her soaps, that kind of stuff, and absolutely loved all of that. Um, it could have been also the warmers I was using at the time. I don't know. I think then I was mostly using Scentsy warmers. I could be wrong. I might have, I know, because I think I had my glade back then. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I wanted to give the bathing garden a try again. So I had placed an order and I was very happy with what I was ordering. Uh, you know, I'm going to love these scents, blah, blah, blah. Right after I placed the order, I went onto YouTube and I'm like, oh, let me just, let me just watch some um, bathing garden hauls and see what other people um, have gotten and are liking. So the two videos that come to mind that I watched were June Mermaid, who if you're not watching her, she does great um, wax holes, empties. She also does like soap holes, crystals, lifestyle types of things. Um, she's great to watch. And Kim Hart's Organizing, which I'm sure everybody watches. Kim um, so I watched both of their bathing garden hauls and they had both hauled stuff from the Alice in Wonderland collection. And I think they both hauled things from, what was it? Was it the Salty, the Salt collection? So of course, right after I saw their videos, I was like, oh my God, I have to try this and I need to order that and I had to do that. So I went in and made a second order. Um, so this was a while ago, four or five weeks ago, I want to say. And lo and behold, my order arrived today. So I'm really excited and I want to share with you guys the things that I got. Now, she did include quite a bit of samples. I do not have scent descriptions for those. I'm not looking those up. Um, I will show them to you and sniff them and we will move along. So first, let me say her stuff comes gorgeously packaged. It is seriously like opening a birthday gift beautiful tissue paper and then it's like sealed with like a little um, butterfly sticker every single clamshell or piece of wax is wrapped in tissue paper and the tissue paper was all different colors there was some pink some brown some tans whatever just a beautiful um, presentation of her wax um, and then lots of bubble wrap used and stuff like that. Nothing came crushed. My box was pretty like dented up or whatever. Nothing, um, none of my wax was damaged. So I just always like to add that in because I think sometimes people are curious how vendors pack their stuff. Her stuff beautifully packaged. Um, okay. So moving on to the samples. She sent coconut. I don't know if this says, oh my gosh, Coconut Cove or Coconut Love. I don't know. Oh, but delicious. This is such a nice coconut. Maybe with a little bit of pineapple in it. But how pretty. It's a little seashell. And then her label. Sorry if I'm going to have lighting issues again. But 
you guys are just really here to hear about the wax. So that was the first sample. Um, next is Mermaid Tears. And this smells so good. And I get like a citrus, citrus, and maybe like a saltiness to it. Oh, this is really good. How beautiful, like a sand dollar um, piece of wax. It smells so good. All of her wax. Um, I took quick whiffs of everything. It all smells so good that I feel like I can melt this stuff now. But I know people say that her wax requires a long cure time. So please, if you've ever melted something from the bathing garden out of the gate, like please let me know because I really want to melt some of this. I don't know what this says. If this says, will the whip, the wisp, will, I, I don't know. I'm so sorry, you guys. Is that going to focus? Um, this is good. This is like a, this reminds me of something from like Crabtree and Evelyn or Evelyn, however you say that. But this smells really good. She is so super generous with her samples. Um, they come in like a nice little bag, like cellophane. Here, I'll show you. A little like cellophane bag and it's tied up. Really, really nice. Um, this is Tropical Boardwalk. Again. Oh my gosh, so good. So good. It's like a little bunt cake. I'm getting citrus. Maybe that's all like up my nose, but that is that. Staying with the samples. This is firecracker mint. This is delicious. Oh, this is so good. This right like on cold, I get like a almost like a chocolate mint, like a thin mint cookie kind of thing, but definitely stronger on the mint. Um, blackberry fudge. Oh, it smells so good. I get more of like a, yeah, like a, I mean, a creamy blackberry. I know fudge isn't necessarily chocolate, but just that like creaminess of the blackberry. I love her. The pictures on her stuff, her wax, I mean, just so creative looking. Really, really pretty. This is Country Berry Hot Cakes. And this is, again, in the little bunt. Mmm. This I get like a, more like a syrup. Not a maple syrup, but like a fruit syrup type of note to that. That smells really good. Really good. There's that. Another sample. Summer in a Jar. How pretty. Look at that label. It has like a little mason jar. I'm sorry. And this is a bundt cake as well. Ooh, fruity goodness in that one. That smells really good. Really good. Okay. There's some more samples. This is, I don't know what this is because I can't read. It's something blossoms. And again, another cute little bunt cake. I don't know what this even smells like. No idea. Um, I don't know what that is. Anyway, so those are the wax samples. Oh no, I have another one. You guys, I was like blown away by this. It came in this little... Well, that little package. Look at that. That gorgeous mermaid tail. I was, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with mermaids anyway. Um, this is Salty Siren. I'm probably going to end up putting this into a polypropylene bag just because I don't want the scent to escape. Oh my gosh. This is magnificent. Sorry about the crinkling. Um, that's what that looks like. How gorgeous. And Salty Siren is described as the saltiest, like the saltiest lime margarita. That one I did go look up because I was curious and it definitely smelled like a lime margarita. So 
How nice. I am so excited. Uh, I don't want to melt that, though. Then she also included... Um, some scrubs so super excited about this she sent a sugar scrub in fairy cake uh, that is what her sugar scrubs there's a sample of that really looking forward to trying that like I said before I never had a problem like I've, I love her bath products but I have a feeling I'm going to have really, really, really good luck with her wax this go around. It just, everything has its own scent. I just didn't get that those, that five years ago, four or five years ago when I ordered it for the first time. This is Eat Me and this is a cocoa butter sugar scrub and this smells like I want to eat it. Oh, it smells so good and that's what that looks like. Sugar scrub. And she put everything into polypropylene bags so that there would be no spillage. And then the very last sample is in a, I think this is in a whipped soap. Let me just double check. This is, yep, her whipped soap in Sweet Maddie. Which that smells good. Kind of a, not a marzipan. Cherry, some, I don't know. I didn't look up what Sweet Maddie is. If you guys know and you want to tell me, that's fine. I'm going to use this regardless. It smells really good and sweet and very happy with that. So she sent that, that, and that. So, so many samples. Thank you so much. I believe that the owner's name is Shannon. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Shannon, if you watch um, videos. Really appreciate it. Okay, now let's get into the actual haul. I didn't separate like which stuff I ordered first and which stuff I ordered as my second order. I did pay for shipping twice for two orders and then she combined the orders. Everything went into one big box and she refunded me, I think, $2.50 for shipping. Um, so that was good because I... It doesn't matter what I paid for shipping. Nobody cares. Okay, here we go. Starting with clam shells. The first thing that I ordered is six impossible things. And I could smell this as soon as I opened the box. Six impossible things is roasted coffee. Oh, so good. Um, chocolate. Maybe it's, what did I put? Dark chocolate shavings and cinnamon churros. Definitely strong on the coffee. That is what the inside looks like. I'm sorry, not gonna get a really good picture of it, but oh, this smells so delicious. Delicious, delicious coffee. Cannot wait, cannot wait to melt that. Next, I have Chasing Time, and Chasing Time is peppermint shavings, black tea, sprinkled with light notes of clove and spearmint, inspired by Dr. Peppermint from Lush. This is really good. And this, I tried Dr. Peppermint from other vendors on cold. This is so dang good. Cannot wait to melt it. I'm going to try to go fast. That's what the inside looks like. I mean, her stuff is just masterpieces. Okay, one of those. Then I picked up Curiouser and Curiouser, which I just, just got one of these. Oh, so good. This is bergamot and lemon with soft florals and sweet greens. And it's citrus smelling. And this is so pretty. Not, um, not floral. I mean, she does have, but it says, it says soft florals. Oh my gosh, this is like so feminine smelling and pretty. Like not old lady. Has a cute little mushroom over there. And that is packaging looks like that smells so good okay um exactly two days is the next one this i don't have full scent description but i know it's like a plum a plum and i think like bergamot is in here okay so first we'll take i did get two of these <clears throat> and i'm pretty sure kim hart's organized and talked about this one i think that's why i ordered this 
This smells so good. And then look at the inside. That is like, that is a wooden rabbit, little wooden rabbit piece. And it has holes in it over there. And I have a little like Easter tree. So I'm going to put string through that and hang that on our little Easter tree next year. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So that's the first one because I did pick up two and it's a different, it's a different colored little wooden bunny in there. Yummy. I like plum. That's a really, really, really nice. I gotta move this. This we are gonna run out of room. Um, next I have Goodnight Alice. Oh guys. Goodnight Alice is crisp cotton sheets, soft French lavender, and dreamy chamomile. This is gorgeous looking. Look at that. Is that beautiful? And that is the outside packaging. And I did order three of those because I just knew. And they're all, the inside's exactly the same with the little star at the bottom and the moon face. Oh, this is just, this is so good. And I am not crazy about French lavender, but this like mixed together and stuff. Oh, Lord, this is going to be so good. I want to like melt this tonight in my bedroom, but again... I don't know if I should wait. Comment, please let me know. Is it, should I start melting it? Do I need to wait? Like I said, it's been four or five years since I've melted anything from the dating garden. This next one is Peppermint Marshmallow Fluff. And Peppermint Marshmallow Fluff is sugared marshmallow blended with sharp peppermint and soothing white vanilla. And yes, you get all of that. This is nice little sparklies on there and it has like the Mad Hatter. Is that a cake? It looked like a hat. Maybe that's a cake on a cake stand. But again, loving it. Keeping it moving here, we have peppermint whipped cream. And this is iced peppermint blends with marshmallow, vanilla, and whipped cream. And I did pick up two of those. And it is a white wax. There's some shimmeries. Really pretty. Um, then I have salted vanilla bean. Okay, so salted vanilla bean is a fresh sea salt rich vanilla beans. I do not get that at all. I get like a body wash kind of scent or like a soap, but very pretty. I'm not saying that it's not that it's not pretty. This is so good. So what happened was in my first order, I put this in. Um, that's what the inside looks like. I put this in one clamshell in my first order. And then after I watched June Mermaid and Kim Hart's organizing, I went in and I ordered it again. I don't know why. Maybe perhaps they made it sound even better and I didn't realize that I had ordered it. Oh, it just smells so good. So I did pick up two. Then I have salt water, which I am so excited for this. Oh, this is so good. Guys, I can't even describe this. It's described as super clean lime, citrus, and spa salt. No, not spa salt, sea salt. Oh my gosh, this is like nothing I've ever smelled before. That is just like fresh, clean. Cannot wait. Cannot wait to melt that. Um, okay, moving on. To, I wrote down all my scent descriptions. <laughs> the Mint Garden. Mint Garden is green spearmint, thyme, tarragon, oak moss, sandalwood, and hints of lavender. And this is like a, um, this is a dupe of Dirty from Lush. This is so interesting. I've never had Dirty by Lush, I don't think. This is so interesting to me. Um, I don't even know what I get. It's just like, this I think would be so good in the kitchen. Mmm, really, really good. That is what the inside looks like. It has a little pretty hot green heart. And that is the outside packaging, if you can even see that. So I got one of those. Then I have Water Mint. 
and water mint is fresh air and water notes, oh, fresh air and water notes blend with creme de menthe, creme, oh my gosh, cream de menthe. Let's try it one more time. Creme de menthe, uh, green peppermint, and light notes of vodka. Really interesting, right? This, again, I really can't describe this. You definitely get that, like, like mentholy mint type of scent. And I almost want to say that I do get the vodka note. That is, like, really, and that has, like, her, like, the dried flowers in it. Cream de menthe, cream de menthe. Why does that sound so weird when I say it? That's what that looks like. That smells good. That one's very interesting. Next, I have Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Sorry, this is going to be a long-ass video. I am so sorry. Ah, it smells so good. This is white tea layered under cool Moroccan mint. Oh, my gosh. So good. Again, I just feel the need to show you guys how beautiful because, I mean, the time that must go into... The way that she decorates this. So there's that. Then we have Manage Your Flamingo. I'm wishing I got more of this. I love lemonade scents. This is sparkling lemonade, watermelon juice, and sun ripened strawberry drizzle. Holy God. This smells so good. You get the watermelon and the strawberry. And that tartness ugh, of the lemonade. This is so good. And of course, it has an adorable little flamingo. I hope you guys can see that. So good. Again, my lighting just is crap, and I am sorry, but. Okay. Um, salted coconut. This is probably my least favorite out of all of what I ordered. And I don't know why. It's something with the salt and the coconut together. It just gives it not like a suntan coconut. Maybe I'm getting more of like the saltiness, which is kind of making me think of salty sea air. I don't know. I don't know. This is shredded coconut and blue curica. Curica? Which I think, is that an alcohol? Caraco? Caraca? I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. And fresh salt water. Maybe that's what it is, like the salt water with the coconut. I'm not sure, but I love the label. Not going to judge it on cold. It will definitely get warmed. Um, next, I have salted lavender. Ugh. Crystallized sea salt and hints of soft woods, white musk, and sugary vanilla. So her little dried flowers. That smells good. This is more of an herbaly... Lavender, so I'm not totally sure how I feel about that. I knew ordering it that there was, a, you know, I'm taking a chance because I have that, that love hate relationship with lavender, so that is okay. Next, I have salted peppermint, which I did get two of these. Oh, salted peppermint, crystallized sea salt blends with cool, sweet peppermint. Oh, yes, that is good. Oops. Having a hard time focusing here. That's that. Salted peppermint. And I did say... We are running out of room. I did say that I got two of those. Um, next, I have the Salt Bunny. Love the name. That might have been why I ordered this one. Okay, the Salt Bunny. Uh-oh, did I skip one? Okay, the salt bunny is salted coconut water blends with tart lime juice and hints of lemongrass. I'm getting like a saltiness, coconut, and a hint of lemongrass. I'm not really smelling any lime right now, but look at that. How adorable. And it has a bunny right there. Last 
uh, clamshell is Tweedledee tea. And Tweedledee tea is soothing and simple green tea leaves. Oh, this is so good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And look at the adorable teapot. This is, smells so good. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. And that is the picture there. Focus, focus. Okay. Then I did order a scrub in World Through a Keyhole, which is uh, Sweet Vanilla Cream, Sandalwood, and Light Musk. And I said that that was a, um, a whipped soap. So I only purchased one, like, bathing item. And then I couldn't resist. I had to get um, the world through a keyhole in the rabbit-shaped wax. Oh, my gosh, you guys, look at this. How cute is he? That smells good. I just, I get the sandalwood and the light and the musk. Yep. That's good. Really, really good. A couple years ago, I did not like sandalwood in wax. And I've really, um, as of late, been enjoying it. So I did, I picked up three of these rabbits because they are really cute. Okay, and last, but definitely not least, I picked up Tea with the Queen of Hearts. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm going to take him out so you guys can see him. How beautiful is that? So this is a Robios, am I pronouncing that right? Rubio's Red Tea, very comforting and mild. This is really good. I swear, this feels like I could just, like, cut, if I just, like, cut, like, that much off and melted, like, his face and his ear. I feel like this would work now. I'm a little anxious to try it all out. So, for these cute um, rabbits, I did get four of them. Yes. Yes, I did. Four of the cute rabbits. They, it looks like a like a white chocolate um, rabbit at Easter. How pretty, though. Oh, my gosh. I'm knocking things down. Okay. So, that is everything um, that I got from the bathing garden. I am so excited. I want to really start melting this stuff. But I'm going to wait to see if anybody... Um, <laughs> anybody comments down below and says like no it really does require a long cure time or no she's reformulated her wax and her stuff's good to go I honestly do not know um so yeah that is everything I'm so excited um I know uh I I'm really not buying wax I'm not I have two more orders because they're pre-orders one will be here Monday and then I have my um Bam bags from Super Tarts, which I think I just ordered like, I think four. Yes, four Bam bags. That is it. I didn't get anything. I didn't go crazy. I just got stuff that like I knew um, that I loved. So it's all like repeats except one. One I did take a chance on, but um, yeah. So that is everything. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Have a great rest of your day.